Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you a couple of quick tips on how to use LinkedIn for search engine optimization or SEO. My name is Carl from Buzz Website Design and it's our job to help you to get more out of your website and your other marketing channels as well. And if you like this video, please click on the like and share buttons down below. And if you really like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, It would be great to have you on board as a subscriber. We get one of these videos out roughly once a week and YouTube will let you know when we do. So what do I mean by how to use um, LinkedIn for SEO purposes? Well, the the key thing about SEO, one of the big uh, factors with SEO, is links pointing back into your website. In many respects, your website should be the hub of all your online marketing activity, and just about all of it should point back to your website in some way, shape, or form. So we're looking today at links, but there's something, uh, a couple of other pointers that you need to be aware of when it comes to LinkedIn. Now, there's only two things on LinkedIn that Google pays a blind bit of attention to, and we're going to talk you through them as I talk over the screen uh, in a moment. And the first one is, is your header information on your profile, and the other one is articles. Now, the great thing about these is they are dead simple to do, don't take a huge amount of time or effort, and can actually have a really positive impact on your SEO and your website standing in the search engine. So here we have my LinkedIn profile and I'm going to talk you through, like I said earlier in the video, the two key things that Google pays attention to when it comes to SEO. And the first one is the information I've highlighted right here. Google sees this as like a business card and uh, to be honest, that's pretty much all Google sees on your profile. It doesn't pay a blind bit of attention to everything else that's down here, it can see it, but doesn't actually do anything, it doesn't do your SEO any credibility whatsoever. All it really sees is the information up here. So make sure that you have key information about what you do, for whom, where you are, etc. in this section. Keep it short, keep it sweet, to the point. The idea behind it is to just let Google know this is who you are, this is what you do, this is for whom, and this is where you are if location is important. Now the only other bit that, uh, I say only, but it is a biggie, is your articles. Now if we scroll further down to my my profile, you can see all my articles here. Now if we click on this to see all my articles, and I should point out to you that Google doesn't completely and totally ignore your updates and your posts, etc., your daily um, timeline, but unless you're generating a lot of link, a lot of traffic to your website, from those links and stuff that you put in your timeline, then it really won't get that much traction in the search engines. Um, It's good to get traffic, but Google doesn't really pay that much attention to your timeline. It's articles where Google can really, where LinkedIn rather, can really make a difference to your SEO. Now, Google can see your articles, and Google does consider articles to be a good source of links back into your website. And like I said, links are the key thing Uh, one of the key indicators for Google as to whether a website is credible. And because LinkedIn is such a credible source, links back to your website from articles are always worth doing. Now what I want to do is just scroll down to a particular article that I'm interested in. It's not far away. Now there's loads of articles here, but I want to pay particular attention to this one here. I'm going to click on it. Now, the key thing, first of all, is to have a graphic that kind of grabs people's attention and have a title which, again, grabs people's attention. This is the lead bait. This is what gets people to your article. But the key thing is this. What I've done here is told people what the, uh, what the article is about, and I put a link to where they can read um, the rest of it on my website. Now, this creates a live, credible link back to my website. And like I said, links from credible websites are worth a lot of points from an SEO perspective. So I put the live link in my article to the website where people can read the rest of the um, rest of the piece. And the great thing about this is that it does actually get traffic. People do click, people take a look, and they go and read the, uh, the article. The beauty of it is... Web, uh, Google sees this as a good strong pointer that you've got good active links back to your website. And to be honest, uh, that's all you could really ask for from LinkedIn as a social media from an SEO perspective. Lots of other stuff you can do with it, I'm not going to cover that here, but from an SEO perspective, this is how to get LinkedIn working for you. 
So, I really hope you find that useful. And remember, if you like this video, um, please share it out. Click on the like button below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. But I'd like you to do me a huge favor if you wouldn't mind. If you're going to do something with what you've just learned, please, please let us know in the comments section below. It would be really good to know that we're having an impact with these videos. And be good to know what you're going to do. And if you have any questions, please, please, please write them down. We always respond to comments and questions on our videos. And remember, if you need any help with any of this stuff, please let us know. That our phone number can be found just up there and at the end of the video. We'd be more than happy to help. But that's enough from me. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot and bye for now.